Hello everybody, back again with a brand new paper, a brand new paper, like I promised. This is the 2021 Business and Accounting Paper 2. This is the latest paper that you have. This is the last year paper, last year paper, right? So those who are going for your O-level examination this year, which means in 2022, did you notice this? Did you notice this? Uh-huh. Oh, you didn't notice this. Children, this is 2021 paper, but at the same time, at the same time, it says 2022. Why is that? Yes, that's right. 2021, the O-level examination was uh, postponed, actually, in 2021. The O-level examination, as well as the A-level examination, was postponed. Yeah? Several times. O-level was done, it was held in 2022. So, um, this is the latest paper, last year paper. Uh, we are gonna take on the paper one, paper one and two both. But we have already done the paper one, today we are gonna start the paper two, right? That's why it says business and accounting, business and accounting studies too. All right. As always, I'll give you a brief explanation, brief description about the paper, uh, an introduction for you, right? As always. Yes, so, as always, the first question, the first question, is a case study and you know that the first question is compulsory you can't skip it you can't say I don't like it like it or not you have to do it okay must do it so this is the the case mm? it's a as I always say it's a small story it's like a small story um mostly it uh, gives you a, a business of a certain person or few people in the society right that's how that's how and the case continues till here with a set of transactions so it's a quite uh, it's a quite big um, set of information right based on the case you get 10 questions you get 10 subparts based on the case each subpart offers you two marks so two into 10 that is 20 marks that is about the first question right right and question number roman number three four five six seven eight nine ten you have ten sub parts okay here is the marks allocation 20 marks try to get the uh the entire chunk the entire chunk out of the 20 it's 20 out of 20 you have if, I, if you can get that is the best that is the um, that is what we expect actually <laughs> that is what i'm expecting from you get 20 out of 20 i'll give you a very very brief uh breakdown of the questions first second third fourth questions are mostly coming from business studies part First four parts, okay, from business study. Then from fifth 
क्वेश्चन फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन फिफ्थ सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन दैट मीन्स सिक्स पार्ट्स आर कमिंग फ्रॉम अकाउंटिंग सेक्शन राइट सो फोर पार्ट्स फ्रॉम बिजनेस स्टडीज एंड सिक्स पार्ट्स फ्रॉम अकाउंटिंग राइट ऑल टू गेदर टेन Next, you have the business studies section of the paper. Business studies section, in other words, part one, business studies. You get three questions. You have to answer only two. How simple is that? You get three out of three questions. Answer only two. Beautiful, isn't it? You have a selection. you already know these things yeah you already know these things huh question number 2 3 and 4 mostly question number 2 is coming from your grade 10 syllabus business background of business business environment and business organizations question number 2 hmm business organizations and environments and background of business all right the basic concepts question number 2 carries those type of questions question number 3 is mostly from trading and support services trade and supporting services your grade 10 or 11 10 book or 11 book trade and supporting services not 10 it's it's from grade 11 book grade level first lesson uh from those lessons you get questions trade and supporting services hmm? and uh, mostly uh management with the management lesson mostly from trade and supporting services okay question number 4 comes from management marketing and last lesson investments that is from those lessons this question out of question number 2 3 and 4 select on any two select any two one question carries eight marks so for the two questions for your selection you get 16 for the business studies part next is the accounting part part 2 accounting again three questions as only two so beautiful isn't it you get to select how beautiful question number 5 question number 6 and question number 7 three questions select only two most of the time question number 5 carries questions from introduction to accounting accounting equation and primary books question number 5 see what is the main purpose of accounting write source documents primary books huh purchasing and general journal and uh, transactions to record and uh, equation see to record under the equation transactions have been given and recorded under the equation accounting equation question and primary books you get 12 marks for one question in the accounting part so Although you select two, you have to be very mindful, very, very smart when selecting. Because question number five comes from the basic accounting concepts, introduction to accounting, the definitions of accounting, bookkeeping, and everything. Hmm? Introduction to accounting, accounting equation, and primary books. Question number five. Six comes from what? 
डबल एंट्री एंड बैंक रिकॉन्सिलियेशन एंड करेक्शन ऑफ एरस दोस्त क्वेश्चंस दोस्त लेसन्स मोस्टली या नाउ वी कैन सी इवन द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट यू कूड गेट स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट इन द सिक्स क्वेश्चन राइट देन करेक्शन ऑफ एरस सी एंड बैंक रिकॉन्सिलियेशन these question these lessons coming in the sixth question seventh question is totally entirely from non profit organizations and financial statements financial statements your favorite lesson seventh question yeah so that's about it again 12 marks for uh, accounting questions 12 marks you have to select only two you get to select two so 24 marks for the two accounting questions 24 for the two accounting questions 16 for the two bs questions 24 plus 16 40 marks then for the first question 20 marks for the first question 20 marks and you are well on your way to achieve 60 marks for the second paper in total you are on your way to get 60 marks for the second paper all together Again, I'm saying twenty for the first question, sixteen for the two BS questions. Okay, twenty-four for the two accounting questions. Twelve each, twenty-four for the two accounting questions. So twenty-four plus sixteen, it's forty. Forty plus twenty. That is sixty. Okay, for the first question, twenty. That's how the the paper is structured, my dear children. Let's move on. Let's take a kick start to our work. Huh? Let's start with the first question, shall we? All right, twenty twenty one. Paper two. Here we go. right question number 1 let's go through the case huh? what is the case what case what case this case using the following case answer the tens are parts d1 a management graduate positive thinker wow likes to take risks Okay, lives in Kogala, tourism paradise. Uh mm huh, -hmm. interesting. Started a business. Name is Ganguly Safari. Saurav Ganguly. Ganguly? No, no, not Ganguly. Ganguly, Ganguly. You know Ganga ve Velai, Ganga ve Ganguly. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> It's Ganguly. Yeah? Ganguly Safari. On first January twenty twenty two, by investing eight hundred thousand, his own money, bank loan of five hundred thousand. Interest rate is twelve percent. Providing both services to go to Madoldu. Ah ha 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 ha. Madoldu, yeah, na 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 na. Very nice. How nice. Beautiful. Going to Madoldu. Hmm hmm. both services to go to madoldu crossing the kogala lake providing to whom foreign and local tourists okay on the same day purchased a safari boat 
800,000, safety jackets 420,000. Uh-huh, recruited an experienced safari boat rider. The boat should be, you know, the boat should be what? Ro no, no, it's not a rowing boat. It's a motor boat, okay? If you take a rowing boat and put the rowing boat to go for safaris, nobody will come. Hmm? Don't be ridiculous. It's a motorboat. <laughs> Recruited an experienced safari boat rider, Tilak. And uh, he's getting a monthly salary of 35,000. That's a good salary. Huh? <laughs> Uh, untrained employee was there. His name is Kumar. He's getting monthly 10,000. Small salary. On the same day, he rented a building, 7,000. Uh, Madolduwa, near Madolduwa, where there are many tourism bungalows. Okay. All right. Let's, let's, let's underline the key points, huh? shall we? Let's underline the key points. The key points. Divan is a management graduate. He's a graduate, very smart, positive thinker, hmm? must be a beautiful guy. I don't know, I don't know, I'm just imagining. Must be a very uh, handsome fellow, huh? positive thinker, you know, always positive. So he must be, you know, really pleasant, having a gleaming smile. And uh, very attractive personality, positive thinker. Likes to take risks. That's interesting. Likes to take risks. Very nice. And Koggala is the tourism paradise. Okay. Koggala is a tourism paradise. How important is it to Mr. Divan? How important is it to Mr. Divan? Very important. Tourism paradise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here. Yeah. Well, he started a business as Ganguly Safari. Okay. By investing 800,000. Now we come to the numbers. Mm -hmm. What things that you cannot understand here? He invested 800,000 from his own savings uh, and took a bank loan of 500,000 from a bank. Uh, annual interest is 12%. Annual interest is 12%. Got it. Got it. Okay. So, what is his business? What is his business, you tell me? Is it a goods manufacturing, commodity manufacturing business? Is he uh, making something? Like uh, uh, ornaments or seashells? Um, uh, souvenirs or uh, shoes or chocolates or something like that? No! He's not producing goods. He's providing a service. Boat service. Boat service. Okie dokie. Very nice. I have some more information here. Foreign and local tourists are there. Uh-huh. Safari boat was bought, uh, it was bought for 800,000 and jackets were bought for 120,000, 120,000, that's it. Tilak, um, Tilak, 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 that guy is also um, the important factor. Tilak is a, a boat rider, it's a boat rider. Hmm. Tilak is a boat rider and employee of Diva. Kumar also 
It's an experienced employee and trained. Good. Okay. Key point. And we have some transactions, children. Occurred for the month of month of January. Full expenses, right? Insurance charges, right? Port charges, right? Other expenses. Both service income received. Uh huh. Bought service income received. All right. Now, what is he saying? He's saying that after analyzing the income and expenditures, Divan has decided to expand. Well, that's a very good news. Just after one month, he's going to expand the business. How nice. Of course. Decided to expand the business. Hmm? From February, by purchasing another two safari boats. Oh my God, he's gonna buy two more. That's a risky decision, huh? Just after one month, two safari boats. On credit, to safari boats on credit, no, by, you know, spending cash or not by investing money, but on credit. All right, all right, all right. Additional information given. Depreciation. Uh -huh. That is something which everybody misses. That is something that everybody misses. Yeah. Depreciation. Electricity bill for the month of January, 1000. It has not been paid. And trained employee salary for the month of January were paid during the month. But the billing rent has not been paid. Some accrued expenses. Accrued. Babies, it's accrued, huh? Accrued. There is a, uh, there also one more information here. Ah, uh, rent, rent, building rent, accrued. Building rent also accrued. Right. Let's get on with it, shall we? First question. What is what is the human need satisfied by Ganguly Safari? What is the human need satisfied by Ganguly Safari? Straightforward question. Don't have to think about it. There are only five basic needs. Ganguly Safari is satisfying a need. And there are only five basic needs, okay? Namely, namely, if you name them, food. Don't say food and water. I mean, don't say food and water as two, two needs. Food includes water also. So food and water in one, as one. Food and water. Clothing, shelter, health and education. Food and water, that means food, clothing, shelter. Health and education. These are the five basic needs. All right. Additionally, there are altogether eight, no? Five basic needs and three uh, other needs. Additionally, communication, transportation, and entertainment. So, altogether, there are eight needs. First five and the next three. First five and the next three. Out of the Divan's Ganguly Safari business, by providing both services to go and visit Madol Dua, what is the human need satisfied? Is it food? Is it shelter? No. Health? No. Education? I don't think so. 
ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन वट यू थिंक ट्रांसपोर्टेशन आई डोंट थिंक सो इट्स एंटरटेनमेंट डोंट यू थिंक सो Hmm. Entertainment. What is the main purpose of providing both services? Tell me. Is it to uh, uh, is it to transport passengers and goods here and there from this city to that city, or from uh, Ratnapura to uh, Balangoda, or from uh, Anuradhapura to uh, Polnaru, or is it from is it a transport service? No, it's a boat service for leisure. which is provided to tourists to come and visit and to have fun and to you know spend their vacation in sri lanka that is entertainment okay entertainment uh second deepa According to the ownership of the business, what is the type of business organization Ganguly Safari Business belongs to? Okay. According to the type of ownership, what is the type of business organization that Ganguly Safari? Is it a private limited company? Is it a sole proprietorship business? Why are you making faces? I'm making faces. Why are you making faces? Is it a sole proprietorship business? Of course, it's a sole proprietorship business. Of course, it's a sole proprietorship. Sole prop proprietorship. or you can say sole proprietorship hmm because the one has no partners and it is not a registered incorporated company no the the the, the. it's a sole proprietorship right second question following our five basis environmental factors of ganguly safari business it's not ganguly transport services ah huh? it's ganguly safari that's why the need is entertainment satisfied by ganguly safari why what need be satisfied entertainment five business environmental factors given uh huh uh huh mm. and they are asking state whether each of the above environmental factors of ganguly safari business uh factors of ganguly safari business as a strength a weakness or opportunity or a threat to provide answer use the table similar to the given one below the answer for the first business environmental factor is given has been given for you okay no problem business environmental factor a we are you have to identify children it's on me it's you i'm not going to face the exam it's you can you remember the swot s w o t not s w r d that is that is a prime minister no s w r d bandar naik now i'm talking about s w o t hmm. <laughs> what is s w o t strengths weaknesses opportunities threats got it these are the swot s w O T SWOT. 
SWOT analysis. You have learned this. This comes in the very first uh, lesson. It's the very first lesson. Come on. Come on now. I'm serious, huh? Strengths and weaknesses are in the internal environment while opportunities and threats are in the external environment. These are internal, these are external. Mm -hmm. These are external. Huh? These are internal. Strength and weak. Opportunities and threats, external. No need to uh, go further. Right? Just write whether each of the above factors are uh, strengths or whether they are weaknesses. Otherwise, are there opportunities or threats? Got it? Kogala. Kogala. Kogala, the tourism paradise. That one has been done. Yeah, okay. They say that it's a opportunity. It's an opportunity. Don't you think so? It's an opportunity. Hmm? Of course, it's an opportunity. What else? Divan did not... Uh, Create Kongala City or Madaldua. Uh, it's not his business which which uh, created this um, natural habitats or natural resources, natural hundred percent natural um, um, locations. It's not Divan who created, it's not Ganguly Savari who created Madoldua. Madoldua is, is, is already there. It's a part of the natural environment and the habitat of, uh, of thousands and thousands of animal species. Okay, Divan's business happens to take, take advantage of that opportunity divas business happens it happens to take and happens to take the advantage of that so it's in the external environment Koggala tourist tourist paradise okay tourist paradise and because it's a positive factor in the external environment it's opportunity got it b divans management degree okay how is that? Is it in the external environment or is it an internal environmental factor? It is an internal environmental factor and internal environmental factors, uh, if they are positive, you call them strengths. If they are negative, you call them weaknesses. Uh, this point, this factor, Divan's management degree is a positive factor for the business. So it's a strength. Strength. Can see it? C. D is done. A is done. B, uh, a, and, a and B both done. C. Tilak experienced boat rider. Well, that is also an, an internal environmental factor. Isn't it? Internal environment. Uh -huh. Don't you think so? It is. Because Tilak is a is an employee of the business and he's, a, he's an experienced employee. That is a strength. That is also a, a positive factor inside the business. So it's a strength. Okay, strength. D. Kumar, uh, untrained employee. Uh, Kumar is an untrained employee. What a uh, unfortunate situation. Uh, Kumar is an untrained employee. 
well still he is an internal factor internal factor but he is not trained that is an that is a disadvantage for the business he doesn't know anything he doesn't know how to ride a boat or how to handle customers or customer service or blah 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 he's not he's not he's not experienced he's, he's untrained so that is a negative side of the internal environment which means it's a weakness weakness right so d is done madol do situated near business building madol do situated near business building well that is uh, madol do that is about madol do madol do is not inside the business it is not an internal factor it is an external factor but madol do langa near madol do business building is situated what is that near madol do business building is situated what is that hmm? that is an opportunity right 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 you don't have madol doers in every uh, region or every area you go you don't find a place like model do it's unique it's unique right then when model do is near the uh, near the business of the one that becomes a big opportunity for him of course yeah that becomes a big opportunity for him. So, no doubt about that. That is that is a opportunity. Yeah, it's an opportunity. E, model do situated near business opportunity. Opportunity. Yeah, we are done with that. Mm -hmm. D and E both. Next question. write an example for each of the following management functions okay now they are asking about management functions huh? huh no problem management functions you know the, that management is the process of um, uh, what with the four functions planning organizing planning organizing leading and controlling the limited resources to achieve the business objectives that is the management process write an example for each of the following management functions using ganguly safari business each of the following management functions first function is organizing second function is controlling now we have to write examples now examples from Ganguly business, Ganguly Safari business, organizing. Well, what is organizing as a definition? Can you, can you, you know, provide something to me as a definition? What is organizing? What is organizing? Is it deciding the objectives of the business and designing the path to achieve those objectives? Is it organizing? No, <laughs> no, 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 that is planning. Deciding the objectives or targets of the business. 
of the aims goals and design 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 the path how to achieve that is plan organizing is allocating the limited resources allocating uh, giving out jobs and um, dividing delegating the responsibilities <laughs> um, that is organizing okay example you have to find from the case let's see um, investing 800,000, taking a bank loan of 500,000. Okay, you can take those. But I would take this. I would prefer. Um, hmm. Purchasing safari boats and safety jackets. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Recruiting employees. Uh huh. Now those are organizing, of course, of course. I mean, indeed, organizing. You can write. For organizing, you can write. What? What can you write? I'll just move to this side so it's it's better for you, right? Hmm? What do you say? Purchasing, um, using cash, to purchase to purchase safari boats and safety jackets. And safety jackets. Okay. Ah, I don't know whether these mm. ah, now is it clear? Safety jackets. There you go. Okay. Even the next one you can write, but they are just asking one example. Write an example. An example means one. One example. But if you want, you can write. Um, you can write a uh, recruiting employees experienced uh, boat rider. Okay, you can. Recruiting. Uh, boat riders okay just I'll just write in rough letters okay controlling controlling what is the definition can you provide me something as a definition for control <sighs> yeah 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 mm, yeah. <sighs> yeah well you have to say like this you have to say it like this controlling it's like it should come like this, it should come out like this. Analyzing or um, egg, uh, um, inspecting the, the production or the business activities done and correcting errors, correcting errors or inspecting uh, the activity is done and you know rectifying mistakes and taking uh, any 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 measures to get it back to the track get it back on track okay 
taking any measures, any required step to correct any errors. That is controlling. What things is provided here in Divan's business? Mm. Uh huh. Purchasing safari boats and safety jackets uh, in cash. Recruited and uh, experienced boat rider. Monthly salaries. Rented a building near Madoldua. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, no, nothing like that. Seriously? Paid fuel expenses, insurance, port charges, other expenses, all, all uh, transactions are provided here. But after analyzing, ah, there we go. <laughs> we have something. See, I told you, right? Analyzing, inspecting, those are the keywords to find the control function. Mm. Mm. There we go. After analyzing, see, the income and expenditure of the business decided to expand and buy another two safari boats. You can write that controlling. You can write after analyzing. After analyzing uh, the business activities, I'll write in short form, okay? Business activities. D1 deciding decides siding to buy more boats huh? okay you can write those things after analyzing the business activities blah 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 what has he taken what measures has he taken those are the controlling functions done next mm -hmm. <laughs> writing more and more examples each of the following factors of production huh. okay for part write an example for each of the following factors of production what are the factors of production Land, labor, capital, and enterprise. Example for each of the following factors of production relevant to the service provided by Ganguly Savar. Land means what factors? Tell me, ladies, tell me. Land means all the natural factors. Labor means all the human resources. Capital means all the artificial, man-made things invested by the, uh, by the owner or into the business. Land means all the natural resources, labor. Mm -hmm, that's right. Capital, man-made resources. Enterprise, the entrepreneurial idea. Or the, uh, the owner, some in uh, entrepreneurship you have to know that all the owners all the businessmen are not entrepreneurs but when children say uh, sir entrepreneurship for entrepreneurship can we take divan in this business as the owner i say mm, okay because there is uh, no other entrepreneurs or given examples in this case also, Divan is coming under entrepreneurship. Yeah. But you have to find more examples for other factors of production. Land. Natural factors. 
management graduate, positive thinker. Of course, he's an entrepreneur, Diva. Uh, who likes to take risks. Lives in Koggala, tourism paradise. Started business, Ganguly Safari. Investing 800,000. Money. 500,000 bank loan. Uh, both services to go to Madhul Duga. Crossing Koggala Lake. Foreign and local tourists who are going to Madhul Duga. On the same day, purchasing safari boats and safety equipments. Uh -huh -huh. Recruiting employees. Tilak and Kumara. Blah, blah, blah. Where? Well, in his business, children, there are no 100% natural resources used as factors of production, used in the production process because he is not producing goods by using maybe water, by using eggs uh, and flour and wheat and everything is you know it's it's uh, used in bread production wood is timber is used in furniture production like that he's not producing any goods so i can't give you from the case any natural resources any natural uh, materials but because he's providing a service to madol dua madol dua itself is a factor of production to produce his service to provide his service model though should be there so for land you can say model do uh, surprising is it surprising surprise no should not be surprising you should know about service businesses uh -huh. yeah what will do? That's right. Okay. Model do. Capital. Hey, you can even write Kogala Lake. Okay, Kogala Lake also under coming under land. Natural, 100% natural resource used to produce or used to provide divans, both sides. Well, of course, without the Koggala Lake, where do you think his boats are running? Where? Huh? Koggala Lake should come under land. <laughs> Capital. Capital. A lot of things are there. Uh, cash. Um, boats. Safari boats. Safety equipments. Um, and his building. No, don't write building. Building is rented. Okay. You can write cash. Safari boats. Yeah. Safety jackets and safety equipment under capital. Mm -hmm. Cash. Boats. Jackets or safety. Equipments you can okay. Can you see? I hope you can see. Right. For labor, it's clear. No? For labor, it's very clear. No? For labor, it's Tilak, the experienced boat rider, and Kumar. Inexperienced guy entrepreneurship that's the most important factor of production don't you know that most important divan it's 
His name is Divan, right? Nice name, Divan. <laughs> yeah. I actually wrote uh, this safety equipments here, but it's not very clear, no? Let me write it. Let me write it. safety equipments, okay? Mm. Is it clear now? These are the capital items. Done. Oh, we had to write only one. We wrote a lot of things, right? Next, fifth, 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 okay. Write amounts with amounts, equity and liability of Ganguly business as at 1st January. Well, 1st January is the opening date, the starting date. At the starting date, Ganguly Safari uh, had 800,000 of Divan's money and a bank loan of and a bank loan of 500000 so equity is 800000 bank loan of 500000 is the liability yeah equity no use blue for equity equity is 800,000, 500,000 is the liability, 500,000 is the liability. Here we go, here we go. Next, we have right to assets, B part. Right to assets with the amounts of Ganguly Safari business, first, first, 2022. Right to assets. Oh yeah, okay. Crossing the Kagala Lake after investing his own money, 800,000 and bank loan of 500,000. On the same day, on the same day, purchase Safari board, 800,000 and safety equipment, 120,000. Those are the assets. Safari boats and safety jackets. Safari boat, 800,000. Don't forget the rupee mark. Mm. Safety jackets. How much? Safety jackets, 120. 120,000 safety jackets. Easy questions, right? Let's move on. Sixth question. Mm. Mention the source document and prime entry book relevant to recording the accrued electricity bill, 1000, in Ganguly Safari business. Well, it's not the cash book, it's not purchase journal or sales journal, it's not the petty cash book. The electricity bill is not paid, the electricity bill is not paid, right? Mention the source document and prime entry book relevant to record the accrued electricity. That's what I'm saying. Electricity is not paid. That is why they call it accrued electricity. Where do you record these type of transactions in a business? There is no specific journal to record these transactions. 
No journal. So which journal? Which journal? General journal. That's right. Um, source document is the general voucher. So I'll just write in short form. Source document. Source document, journal voucher. Okay. And the prime book, what about the prime book? Source document and the prime book. Prime book is general i'll just write gj okay general journal that's right there you go next write the double entry relevant to that Ganguly safari business purchase safety jackets 120,000 in cash oh my god so easy questions why are they so easy huh I don't know they are giving so easy questions now these nowadays in papers huh you don't like it right I don't like it you don't you don't, you, you don't like it too it's easy write the double entry relevant to that Ganguly Safari business purchase safety jackets of 120,000 here it has been given children it has been given on the same day, I mean, uh, on 1st of January, purchasing safari board for 800,000, safety jackets for 120,000 in cash. On the same day means on the starting date, 1st of January. Mm -hmm. See? Uh huh. Which is safari board, 800,000, and safety jackets for 120,000 in cash. That is nothing serious just write the double entry okay Ganguly safari business purchasing safety jackets that is uh, double entry relevant to safety jackets no children safety jackets is a non-current asset you don't use the safety jackets in in one two or three months and you, you don't throw them to the river you use safety jackets for years okay safety jackets which means assets which are used in the business activity right you can write it the double entry in this manner S safety equipment account safety equipment account debit How much? Purchase the safari boat and safety equipment. See, safety equipment. See, safe safety equipment. Safety jackets. One hundred twenty thousand. One hundred twenty thousand. One hundred twenty thousand. And cash credit. Cash account or cash book credit hundred and twenty thousand. Huh? All right. Are you okay with this? Safety equipment debit, cash account, credit hundred and twenty thousand. There you go. Now you can see right. Prime book. Right, so that is it. That is it. Sixth question done. This is the sixth double entry. 
Double is a fire business purchasing safety jackets. 120,000 in cash. Okay. This is the double entry. Next question. State the net value of each non current asset of Ganguly Safari as at 31st January 2022. Separately. <laughs> okay. Net value of each non current asset. The two non current assets we already know. I always, in every slide, I have marked on the same day. Again, I'm marking. Huh? On the same day. Purchase Safari Boat 800,000, safety equipment 120,000. 800,000 and 120,000. What is the meaning of net value? The net value. What are they saying now? Net value. Net value means after a period of time when the depreciation has been written off, when the depreciation has been deducted, the value after subtracting uh, or deducting depreciation. All right. State the net value of each non current asset of Ganguly Safari. Now they say Safari boats are Safari boats are here they say right here they say Safari boats are here deep uh, by 12 percent and safety jackets by 50 percent should be depreciated hmm. that is what they are asking now so let's write safari boats if you don't have a space here let me uh, start it somewhere here Safari boats. What is the cost of a safari? Cost of the safari boat? Uh, here, eight hundred thousand. Here, eight hundred thousand. Okay, eight hundred thousand into twelve percent, twelve over hundred. What is the value? Ninety six thousand for safari boats, huh? Safety jackets fifty percent. Can you see this? Fifty percent, see half should be depreciated annually <laughs> annually annually means for the whole year so you have to divide this by two uh, divide this by 12 to get the monthly depreciation divided by 12 how much 8000 8,000 and for safety jackets let's take safety jackets safety jackets are here see this one safety jackets let's say safety equipment safety jackets safety equipments Hundred twenty thousand. Hundred twenty thousand, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hundred hundred twenty thousand into fifty percent. Fifty, see, safety jackets. Fifty percent. Which means how much? Sixty thousand. Again, it should be divided by 12 to take the 
monthly depreciation. Five thousand. There you go. Is that the answer now? Uh, we did the calculation and uh, we took the answers. Uh, Eight thousand for safari boats and five thousand for safety equipments. Right. Done. Can we move on? No. This is this, this is not the answer. This is not the answer. <laughs> the question is asking what. The net value, net value, state the net value, net value, net value, net value of each non current asset of Ganguly Safari business as at 31st January separately. Net value means when the depreciation is deducted from the cost, the remaining. Uh, carrying value of the asset. All right, so we have some more work to do. All right, I'll push it forward. Push it forward. And, yep, first and second separately. Separately. So the net value. of the uh, non-current assets separately. For safari boats, you have to take 800,000 and subtract 000. how much? Subtract the 8,000. And you get the answer. How much? 800,000 minus 8,000, how much? 792,000. 792,000, that is the net value. Then, what about safety equipments? You got safety equipments worth of 120,000, see? 120,000, and the depreciation is, see, 5,000. 120,000 is the cost minus 5,000 is the depreciation for the month. 115,000 is the net value. These are the answers, not these. You understand what I'm saying, right? Net value. Okay, okay. Move on. Calculate the cash balance of Ganguly Safari business. You need a cash book. You need a cash book. I'm not going to draw a full format with discount columns, blah, 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 because that is not needed. Just a T account is enough. Cash. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, the opening balance. What is the opening balance? Balance brought forward. You have to take the opening balance, children. Yeah. <laughs> what? Otherwise, did you have to take the opening balance? Uh, he started a business as Ganguly Safari by investing 800,000. Ah, okay. By investing. 800,000. So cash comes 800,000, not BBF. Mm, this is a newly started business, so no BBF. I'm sorry. If, you, if it was a business which, which was continuing, there is a BBF. From the last month, the cash balance coming to this month. But this is a newly started business. It's a new business. No cash balance carried forward, brought forward, okay? 
I don't like these letters. Now it looks nice. It looks nice, right? Yeah. Cash. No, it's capital. Capital. 800,000. First January. Right? That is this one. Investing 800,000 of his own money. Then bank loan. Bank loan 500,000. On the same day, loan 500,000. Yeah. Loan means what? You get, uh, you don't get hazelnuts and raindrops from the bank. You get cash from the bank, 500,000. So it goes to the cash book debit side bank loan 500,000 so that is done taken this is taken annual interest to provide both services on the same day he purchased safari boat 800,000 and safety equipment 120,000 for cash again you have to credit boat 800,000 equipments 120,000 why because he bought these for cash he bought these for cash no doubt about that no doubt on the same day he purchased safari boat see 800,000 and safety jackets 420,000 cash see cash Hmm. And recruited uh, in experienced in safari boat rider Tila. Monthly salary thirty five thousand. Untrained uh, boat rider Kumar. Monthly salary ten thousand. We don't know whether they are paid or not. The salaries. Don't know. I have to go and check in the transactions. Same day it rented the building for seven thousand per month. Near Madhudurga. Where are many tourists? Where there are many tourist bungalows. Same day, he rented a building for 7,000. We don't know whether the 7,000 is paid or not. Still, we don't know. There you go. Here we are. We have the transactions here. See? Now we can check whether what is paid. Following are the transactions occurred for the month. Paid full expenses. Credit that. Paid full expenses. Credit that. Full. 85,000 paid insurance 8,000 insurance 8,000 yeah what else paid port charges 15,000 port Fifteen thousand. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Port. Other expenses twenty thousand. Other expenses how much? Twenty thousand. There you go. Got it. Last one. Total boat service income received. Ah, oh, there's income. There's income. Very good. Boat service income. Received. It's received. Got it. The boat service income is received. Received means he got the cash. No problem there. No problem there. 
received 310 should be debited 310 service income okay yeah so we have to check whether there are any other payments um all recorded but did you check whether uh, the salary 35,000 and Kumara salary 10,000 did you check whether they are paid no have to check have to check monthly salary 35,000 for Tilak Kumara 10,000 they are not mentioned here no nothing about salaries but additional information under additional information something is mentioned see um safari boats depreciation and safety jackets depreciation we already calculated but we don't put them to the cash book because it's depreciation depreciation not cash expenses don't put depreciation to the cash book electricity bill for the month of january thousand but don't put because not been paid it has not been paid not been paid if we didn't pay it in cash, don't put it to the cash book. Not being paid. Boat rider salary and untrained employee salary paid. Boat rider salary and the untrained employee salary for month of January paid. Which means Tilak boat rider 35,000. Here is mentioned here, right? See. 35,000 should be put and Kumara 10,000 should be put credit side 35,000 and 10,000 Tilak salary or you can put both of them together as salaries okay Kumara salaries Both of them can be put 45,000 as salaries or as separate items, no problem. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes, one more thing, one more thing here. One more thing here. Uh, there's one more thing here. These are paid, but building rent not being paid see has not been paid so building rent you have you don't have to take it now you can balance your cash book and take the balance take the balance and that is the answer to your question which question calculate the cash balance that is the question okay right let's take the balance and we are done let's take the balance and we are done okay which side is the higher side of course the debit side Eight hundred thousand plus 500,000, 800,000 plus 500,000, 1.3, 13 lakhs, 30 lakhs plus 300, 16 lakhs, 10,000, 8 plus 5, 13, 13 plus 3, 16, 16, Lakhs ten thousand. That means one point six lakhs and ten thousand. Again, you put that amount here. Uh, 
same amount here and take the addition of the credit side shall we what is the addition of the credit side we have 800,000 8 plus 800,000 plus 120 920 10 lakhs 10 lakhs 13 33 43 48 10 lakhs 58 This is the total of the credit side, right? Total of the credit side. Let's take the total of the credit side um, and subtract that from this 16 lakhs. How much is the answer? How much is the answer? Subtract. Zero, 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 seven. Huh? Do your calculation. How much? Five hundred seventeen, right? Five hundred seventeen thousand. Five hundred seventeen thousand, is it? Did you? Calculate this the total 16 lakhs 10,000 or oh, 1.6 million and 10,000 uh, from that you have to subtract 1 million and 93,000 517,000 that is the cash balance or balance Carried down in this That's it now we move on to the next the last question do you want to see this uh in yeah there you go that is the cash book with the calculation right let's go last question oh no ninth question um calculate the net profit profit or loss of ganguly safari Wow, this these parts are the things that students skip. They say, "Ah, oh, net profit? Are you kidding me?" Just let it go. Keep it. Leave it. Let's go to the next question. No, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Calculate the net profit or loss of Ganguly Safari business for the month ended. Okay, we need a small statement. Likewise, a small statement, not a very complex one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. All right. Just in case, if we have. A lot of items that's why I ruled it uh, no in a large way this is the profit or loss statement I'm not gonna write the full um, titles and with the names and all because this is a working the, the last answer final answer the profit is what matters here okay all right profit or loss statement uh, service income should be on top. What is the service income? Then cost 
Are there any other income? I don't think so. Uh, expenses should be subtracted. Expenses should be subtracted. That is the easiest way to calculate the profit income minus expenses. Okay. Income minus expenses. That is the easiest way. Let's take the case and see what are the incomes. We have one income. Total both service income received 310. No other nothing, right? In these parts. No other uh, thing which is relevant to profit calculation. Have to check. <laughs> I don't think so. These are the uh, initial transactions, the capital investments and all. They don't affect profit. Profit is calculated by income minus expenses. <sighs> Management graduate, positive thinker, using Coggler, started business, investing 800,000, own money, bank loan 500,000. Aha, uh -huh. don't forget the bank loan interest. These things should be noticed. Bank loan interest. Bank loan interest, twelve percent. Mm. Foreign and local tourists. On the same day, purchased a safari boat. These are all not expenses. These are investments. Like you don't, you don't, you don't take these when when you calculate profit. Okay, not taken to profit calculations. These are non-current assets. Purchase safari boat, safety jackets, and cash. Uh, salaries should be remembered. Don't forget salaries. Rent also should be remembered. 7,000. Okay, good. Now, let's put the service income first. Service income, 310,000. Mm-hmm. Service income 310,000. I'll tell you an easy way to do this. Go to the cash book. Now we have already prepared the cash book. We know the expenses paid. Take the expenses paid from the cash book. Easy. Don't take these. Don't take these. These are assets. Fuel. Insurance. Port charges. Take all those things. Other expenses. If you want, you can take the total of them because even though you prepare a statement, for the statement, you are not going to get marks. No, for the answer, then net profit, you are going to get marks. So you can take the, you can prepare this statement like big thing and ruling and items filling in the statement. All these things are okay, but for the statement, you are not going to get marks. Okay, just find the net profit somehow. This is the easiest way. Um, what is the easiest way? Excluding these two, 800,000 for board and 120 for equipment. Take the total of expenses. Okay, total of expenses. Fuel 85, insurance 8, port 15. Let's take the items. One by one. Mm -hmm. Fuel 85 plus 15, 100,000 and 120,000. 120,000 plus 10,000. 130,000 plus 35, 130 plus 165,000. 165 plus 8,000, 173,000. 100 and 73,000. Those are the <laughs> expense total. Okay. 85 plus 15. It's 100,000. 100,000 plus 20. 120. 120 plus 10. 130. Plus 35. 165. 165 plus 8. 173,000. 173,000 is the total with this. 173,000. Okay. 173,000. 
take that I'm I just told you that I'm going to give you a, a shortcut uh, expenses paid hundred and seventy three thousand right got it expenses paid now now take the other expenses we took all these things huh we took all these things 85 8 15 20 took all those things after analyzing the income and make up this also taken <laughs> no worries after analyzing the income and expenditure of the business month of January, Divan decided to expand the business from February. This is not needed. This is from February. Safari boats 12%, safety jackets 50%. Depreciation should be taken. We already took depreciation, yeah? We already took depreciation. Here. Safari boats depreciation. How much? 8,000. Safety equipment depreciation, 5,000. 8 and 5. 8 and 5. So, this is already taken. Now, we'll record. 8 and 5. Depreciation. Eight and five, eight plus five, thirteen thousand. Thirteen thousand. Next, next what? Uh, depreciation already taken now. Electricity bill for the month of January. Have to take it. 1000. It has not been paid. Doesn't matter. 1000 should be taken. Electricity bill paid. Not paid, but have to take it. Electricity bill not paid, but have to take it. Um, electricity. 1000. Then that is also done. Huh. Boat rider salary and untrained employee salary we already took. Boat rider salary, untrained employee salary we already took from the cash book we took for the month of January. Paid, okay. Paid or not, we have taken. Um, but building rent has not been paid. Even though it is not being paid, have to take it because I told you. Profit or loss is calculated on accrual basis. Accrual basis means not, not considering cash. Even though they are paid or not, have to take the expense. Building rent on the same day, rented the building, 7,000. Uh -huh. That is another expense, 7,000. 7,000. So I have to take 7,000 too into the expenses under the expenses rent seven thousand done okay is that all is that all can we take the total of incomes minus the expenses no <laughs> Can you remember we marked these things? Ah, don't remember now. We marked the bank loan interest. Annual interest rate 12%. Have to calculate from 500,000. Uh, we already took this one. The Tilak Experience Safari Boat Rider. His salary taken. Kumara salary taken. This is also taken. Depreciation also taken, right? 12% and 50% taken. Okay, only the 12% should be taken. That is bank loan interest.
calculate it 12 percent out of 500,000 have to calculate right can calculate right 500,000 12 over 100 it becomes 60,000 yeah yep 60,000 but that is annual always remember that so you have to divide again by 12 and it becomes 5,000 this 5,000 should be recorded as an expense yeah, 5,000 should be here. Interest. I think that's all. Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? Nope, I don't think so. Let's take the total expenses here and we can calculate the profit or loss of the period mm -hmm. okay what is the total of expenses 173 194,199,000. That is the total. Yeah, have to subtract income minus expenses. Take it. Yeah, I have to calculate the profit now. It's just a matter of subtracting expenses from the incomes 199,000 when you subtract how much do you get 100 11,000 right 111,000 yeah there you go this is the profit that's why this guy is going to expand the business, right? Profit of the period. 111,000. That's why he's going to uh, expand. See, by buying another two boats for the month of January. Done. That is actually your uh, ninth part of the first question. There you go. You don't have to draw any formats. Just minus expenses, the total expenses from incomes. Okay. That is the important part. That is what you should know. don't miss any items if you miss your profit will be wrong last question in ganguly safari business how much is the amount of equity as at 31st january equity in this session i i have said like i have mentioned like two three times equity increases with profit there is a profit and the profit is 111000 111,000 that is the profit but opening equity you have to clearly sort out what is the opening equity opening capital investing 800,000 of his own money that is the opening capital not the liability not the liability yeah only the capital 800,000 plus profit 111,000 is the profit yeah uh huh. So let's put A and write the answer. Opening capital eight hundred thousand plus profit 
profit of the month profit of the month 111,000 that is it right yeah that is it 111,000 one 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 so capital as at capital as at amount of equity as at 31st January equals equals the addition of these two eight hundred nine hundred and eleven thousand that is it capital capital okay next question b b a is done now b mm -hmm. how much is the amount of total assets oh my god amount of total assets <laughs> we have to go through the case again uh -huh. amount of total assets we have to take the cash balance debtors are there any debtors the current assets no debtors no debtors no debtors nothing is mentioned and the closing inventory so the closing inventory there is nothing mentioned about closing inventory debtors there is nothing mentioned so let's take the cash balance and the non-current assets what is the cash balance Five hundred seventeen thousand. we prepared the cash book we calculated the cash balance Five hundred seventeen thousand. uh-huh so uh, now we can take the cash balance First, let's take the non-current assets. Non-current assets. Both don't take the cost minus the depreciation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you have to minus the depreciation. Otherwise, you can't take the cost. Eight from eight hundred thousand. How much should you minus? Um, see, eight hundred thousand. Eight hundred thousand. On the same day, purchased safari boats. Eight hundred thousand. Safety jackets. Hundred and twenty thousand. From eight hundred thousand, you have to minus depreciation of the boat. Safari boat. Eight hundred thousand minus eight thousand. We took it. Eight hundred thousand is the depreciation. And we took the net value 792 for safari boats, 115 for uh, safety equipments. Safety equipments. It's here, right? Everything is calculated already. That's why they are asking the last question about assets. Net value is 792, 115. 792, 115. Seven hundred ninety-two safety equipments, safety jackets. One hundred fifty. Then the cash balance. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the <laughs> profit loss. Sorry, have to take the cash book. Cash book, five hundred seventeen. Cash balance is five hundred seventeen. Uh huh. 
cash bonus. Take the addition and you get the total assets. Total assets. Asset 31st January. Got it. How much is the amount of total assets 31st January? That is what we calculated here by taking uh, non current assets 1, 2, and current assets we have cash all added up together. How much do you get? That is your total assets. <sighs> okay, that's it. That's up to you. With that, children, the ending of this first question of the paper. Um, this is 2021, all level pass paper. First question, the compulsory question. All 10 subparts um, we did in a descriptive manner. I think too much descriptions for some children. I know, but I'm doing this for the weaklings, for the ones who are struggling. For you, my dear children, there is no other explanations to be done here. All, every part, every question, every single point was explained as well to the maximum as I could. So, I will meet you with the next part in the, in the next video, the business studies part and then the accounting part. Until then, be good. Be busy with your work. Do your work. When you work, you work. When you play, you play. Don't mess up the two. As I always say, let's get through these things, these, all these things which feel like sometimes which feel like it's too hard is too difficult <sighs> sometimes some students tell me feels impossible i'm not gonna take commerce for my a levels no they let's get through these things don't worry about it these are not hard things believe me all right until next time see you very soon have a good time. Thank you.